Hello and welcome to this Biobot Pro video. In this video today, I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of the basic section in your settings for Biobot Pro, which is kind of like the foundation settings that you should definitely have set up before you get started analyzing a deal. So first of all, how do you get there? Just click on the cog here and it will take you to your settings and you'll see that the top section here is your basic settings. So I'm just going to zoom in there so you can see better. So first of all, you've got your preferred marketplace, obviously quite self-explanatory. There's a drop down here and you just need to select which your preferred marketplace is. And then your tax and VAT settings. Now, this is really important. There's a few options here. If you're a US or Canadian seller, then it's not relevant to you. So you can just choose not applicable for US and Canadian sellers and you're all good to go. UK sellers, you have a few more options. So the first one is non-VAT registered, which you most likely are if you're just starting out. You've then got standard accounting, which if you are VAT registered is the most common. And then you've also got flat rate scheme because there will be a few people that are on that. So we need to make sure that that's available to you too. If you're not sure which one you are, check with your accountant, but you will most likely know if you are or you aren't VAT registered. So if you're not VAT registered, that is the top option. And then if you are VAT registered, you will be either standard accounting or flat rate scheme. So select whichever one is applicable to you. Coming down, you've then got your ROI method, so your return on investment. So basically the ROI is what you're going to get, what you will get back on top of what you've put in. And there are different methods that you can choose in order to tell Bible Pro how you would like it to calculate your ROI. Now, if you hover over the ROI calculations, it will show you the methods. As it says here, the method one is kind of the default and then coming down, you've got some more here as well. So we would advise or recommend method four for a UK seller. So this is basically because it will take everything into account. And then you'll also see that you have got VAT where applicable is taken into account as well. And of course, if you're a UK seller, then we have VAT in the UK. If you are a US seller, then we would recommend method five. And this is basically because it also takes everything into account, but it's also VAT exclusive because VAT isn't a thing. So method four for UK sellers, we would recommend and method five if you're in the US just enables Bible Pro to be, you know, as accurate as possible because we know then that Bible Pro will take everything into account when it's analyzing the deal. So then coming back up, the next thing along is your kind of your fee boxes. So you've got your prep fees and your bundle prep fee. So prep fee, if your um, prep center charge you um, an amount, then for obviously for prepping, then you would put that in there. And that is excluding VAT. Your bundle prep fee is obviously a bundle. If you're bundling products together to create a bundle, then you would you would usually be charged kind of an extra fee by your prep center. So they would charge the prep fee plus the bundle fee. So you would input your bundle prep fee in there and that's also excluding VAT. You've then got shipping costs, so you can imp input those here and then buy what Pro will take those into account. You can do that per kilo or per pound and then just put the amount in there. Bybot Pro knows then exactly what your shipping costs are and can take those into account when it's doing its calculations. And then the last one in the basic section of your settings is your toggle between MF, MF and FBA here. So of course you might have, um, you might do both. There are lots of sellers that do both fulfillment types, but generally you would have one that you kind of concentrate on more than the other. So you would just toggle whichever one you think you would like it to be set to. Once you've done that, as with any changes in the settings, just come down, click save and sync, Bible Pro will refresh and you know then that those settings that you've just put in will be implemented for the next time that you use Bible Pro to analyse a deal. So that is your basic section in your settings, kind of the foundation settings for getting started with Bible Pro. Any questions or you're not quite sure which one you should be choosing in certain, certain sections, just drop an email to info at Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.